So how about this? Some Boise State basketball recruiting news. You know, last time Leon Rice went down to Houston uh, and recruited somebody, it was Derek Alston. Worked out pretty good. Derek graduates this year, but when he moves on, his scholarship will essentially be filled by another Houston product. Yeah, JT, the state of Texas has treated Coach Rice and the Broncos fairly well over the last couple of years. The Broncos landing another Texan yesterday for their class of 2021. It's four-star guard R.J. Keene out of Concordia Lutheran High School. He committed to Boise State yesterday. Now, Keene chose the Broncos over a final group that included Utah State, Hawaii, Iona, George Washington, and Grand Canyon. The 6'7 guard made 135 three-pointers last season for Concordia Lutheran. Keen is the second known commit for the Broncos' 2021 recruiting class alongside Tyson Degenhart out of Spokane. As for how Keen chose the Broncos, a fitting decision in the year 2020. Well, RJ, before we get to your decision today, I want to ask you about how you committed. RJ, mask up and show us where you're going. Who came up with the idea? Boise State University. Hey. Hey. To reveal your commitment by putting on a mask. Um, it was probably the local news guy, Ari Alexander. He helped me with that and we ran with it. I mean, we wanted to do it live somewhere and it worked out great. I mean, it's getting a lot of love everywhere on social media. It's kind of trending, kind of going viral. How fitting was it, though? I mean, th this is a unique moment um, in unique times, I would say. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. You know, like, this is a once-in-a-lifetime thing. I mean, you're never going to experience something like this, and it happens to land on my recruitment, and... I will be committed to Boise State University. I feel like I made the perfect and right decision by coming to Boise. Go Broncos. Speaking of coming to Boise, have you visited Boise before? Have you been able to get up here because of the pandemic? No, so I actually got offered during the pandemic was like peaking, so there's a current dead period right now. Mm -hmm. But me and my mom and a couple of my buddies are gonna head up there July 30th and take a campus visit. So I'm excited. So what is it about committing to a place that you've never been? I mean, what gave you the confidence to do that? I mean, that just shows how comfortable I am with the coaching staff, with the other commits there. It just felt home. I feel like I don't even need to visit. What does basketball mean to you? Like, how much of it is is, is it really your life? What, what does this game mean to you? I mean, this is all I sleep, eat, breathe basketball. I mean, basketball's in my blood. I mean, that's all I do. It's all me and my buddies do. It sounds like basketball runs runs in the family. Your dad is pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he went to Illinois and you know, McDonald American, top five player in the country. So that's where I kind of get it from. I mean, I'm a family of athletes. I'm a younger sister who's a USA volleyball player who committed to Baylor, which Baylor's the number one school in America. So I might not be the best athlete in the house, but it runs in the family. How competitive is your house? I, I, I gotta ask. Oh, it's extremely competitive. <laughs> I mean, it's my most competitive house you ever get to. Tell us a little bit about your game. Who do, who do you model it after? Who might it kind of mimic a little bit? It's kind of like a mix of Luka Doncic, Gordon Hayward, and Jalen Brown all mixed together. I mean, those are very great players, don't get me wrong, but I try to take little pieces of their game and out of mine. For more of like a, a, a local comparison too, I've heard Justinian Jessup's name come up. Have you talked much with, with Double J as he's known up here at all? Yeah, I mean, I talked to him a little bit in Instagram DMs and he just said nothing but good things about Boise. And he's like, this should be a no-brainer for you. I'm like, just let you know I'm coming. And it's about like a week ago. I mean, I'm excited. He's showed that six foot seven dudes can put it in the rim. He broke all the Jammers records and hope to do the same.